What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Definitely a different style video than what you're probably used to seeing on this channel, but there's been some pretty devastating news coming out of the NHL and hockey world today, and that's the fact that Johnny Gaudreau and his brother Matthew Gaudreau were both involved in a fatal car accident that took both of their lives. Now this was an alleged drunk driving situation, and I'm going to explain the story to you guys in a little bit, but I just want to start off with this video saying that it's not going to be heavily edited, I'm not going to be cutting this video a lot or adding any overlays, I just want to begin by spreading my love and compassion to Johnny's family, Matthew's family, their friends, anyone who love them or anyone who just passed them in life or watched them play the sport that we all love. To his family, my condolences, my love, my prayers, it goes towards you guys as along with a lot of the hockey world. Like I said, it's just a very sad time for anyone who even glanced upon Johnny Hockey's life or Matthew's life in any way. Now, for this story, I don't really want to kind of talk about what I think happened or what I can recall happened, so I'm going to make one cut in this video, and that's to read from the actual police report about this incident which we're going to get into right now. So I'm reading this story straight from the Columbus Dispatch and like I said these aren't my words it's coming straight from the police report and the journalist who wrote this story. Uh, so the New Jersey State Police said that the Gaudreau brothers died after a suspected drunk driver crashed into them shortly after 8 p.m. as they biked along a rural road. The driver was charged with two counts of death by auto and taken to the Salem County Correctional Facility. Authorities have not said whether or not the driver will make his initial court appearance yet but it is set to happen in the future. Future. The trooper suspected that the 43-year-old from Woodstown, New Jersey was under the influence of alcohol at the time of the crash, and according to the report released on Friday morning, he drove a Jeep Grand Cherokee northbound on the county road when he pulled behind a sedan and SUV. He tried to pass the slower-moving sedan and SUV before entering the road's southbound lanes. The SUV in front of the driver moved to the middle of the road, splitting the north and south lanes to pass the Gaudreau brothers who were traveling north on their bikes. The driver tried to pass the SUV on the right and struck the two cyclists in the rear. The highway patrol said the brother suffered fatal injuries. According to the criminal complaint against the reckless driver, he remained on the scene when law enforcement arrived at the scene of the crash. Investigators noticed he smelled of alcohol, and he told the police he had drank five to six beers before and while driving before crash. The driver also failed a field sobriety test, the complaint states. He told the police he believed his drinking had led to his impatience and reckless driving that resulted in the crash. According to the criminal complaint, this is all that happened on the scene. Now, this is incredibly sad news, and the reason I read this story like this is because I didn't want to misrepresent what actually happened. I wanted to give you guys the actual facts so you could see just how serious of a situation this is. Now, for Johnny, he's 31 years old this year. Matthew, he was 29. They both still had plenty of life to live. And while we might have known them just as skilled hockey players, they had loved ones and family members who knew them for the strong individuals that they actually were. As a kid growing up, I love the sport of hockey. It's why I create videos like this. And Johnny was a massive reason to why I started doing things. And for me, he was one of my favorite players growing up. Just seeing him in Calgary, the way he overcame adversity, playing in Boston, it was just something that I really admired. And to see him taken away from us so soon, it's just absolutely devastating for me. So like I said, the most important thing for myself and for the hockey world, let's give our love, thoughts, prayers to the family, anyone who knew Johnny in any way, because they were both great people on and off the ice, him and his brother Matthew and it's just it's such a sad day for the hockey world so I just wanted to put this out for you guys like I said very unedited just kind of giving you guys the story of what happened just sort of a quick summary just so I could put my thoughts out there and send some love to his family so as always thank you guys for clicking on these videos and supporting the channel and be safe out there don't drink and drive this is just another example of that and yeah uh, that's it for today's video I'll see you guys on the uh, next one